Hey, I'm Hollywood Dan, and this is Peter, my client today. He's got a lot of big, bulky, straight hair that just sticks out. So we're going to do a nice trim on him today. Um, mainly going to a grade three, uh, not much shorter than that because it will just stick out, but going to get him a nice new style that's going to look less bulky, less um, bushy around these side bits here, but nice and choppy still on top. Just reduce a lot of that weight and length off of that. So uh, without further ado, let's get going. Let's get, get some hair cut off, yeah. First of all, I'm just going to go in and do my grade three, get all that bulk off. We need to wash his hair as well because um, he's got a lot of products in there at the minute, which is just a nightmare when cutting hair. So let's get the bulk off first, get him shampooed, and then we can really get into the nitty gritty of the haircut. At the minute, I'm just going around the ridge line, just trimming the edges. Still more of my bulk cutting phase at the minute, trying to get as much of that bulk away from his head. Um, you've got to be really careful though and keep looking in the mirror. So every time I'm doing it, I'm going to keep looking in the mirror because I don't want this to be going out like this, but I don't want this to be going up and then in. I need to make sure I'm going to be creating a nice, strong square silhouette. Um, so I tend to try and pull out the sides and then overextend it a little bit so it gives me a little bit of an arch that I can then just clip a, or scissor over comb off afterwards to blend that out. Um, it's more like toe pre doing this sort of hair, you just, you just got to cut it a little bit by bit but not by taking too much off because once you've taken it off it could ruin the whole shape of the head. But if you can uh, see in the mirror well, there, I'm really sorry. I thought it was a tiny um, can you spin him? Can you have a look in the mirror? Like you can see the silhouette of his of his head. So from the mirror, that's all coming out at this angle here. So I'm creating this sort of shape with it. myself in the mirror. No. Want to create that kind of shape. So I don't want to go too far out, but I don't want to go too far in. So I'm just going to cut a profile in, going through the head before I make it choppy and messy. Let's take my middle section and then I'm going to come across, just cut across there. I tend to just start arching my fingers as well on the ends just to round off slightly. You don't want it too round. But if I just, you can overextend the hair, so bringing it up and bringing it up. But then on these corner bits, I'm just going to grab that section again. I'm going to slightly arch and round my fingers and just cut around on the round. So cut on the round. Cut on the round. And you're just creating all these corners, all these edges for yourself. So once I've created all these corners and edges, I want to just smooth them out. The way I do that is just by going through that corner. You see I've got that corner throughout the whole hair. So you just want to get that out by arching my fingers and going round. So a lot of this around the back here is still too bulky. So we're going to just um, blow dry it first and then start clipper over combing all this section out here because there's still too much hair, too much bulk. I'm going to remove some more bulk off with a bit of clipper over comb here. So I'm at the minute just going over very lightly with my grade four. I've got it open clippered. Just trying to knock out a little bit more. My clipper over comb was working, but I'm just trying another technique by just going back over, raising it up a little bit higher. 
We'll drop the four down. We usually do grade three on your hair. Oh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Just gonna take my grade three a bit higher now. Now that I can see the hair and the shape that was coming in with this haircut, I'm now confident enough to take it a little bit higher. Expose more of that grade three there and blend the line up a bit higher up. Sometimes when you've got so much hair like was that was in, that so much times when you have so much hair like you had when you first came in, it's hard to actually see where you might go with the haircut. So by just being a bit more cautious and starting off a bit lower to then take it up higher is easier than taking it up too high and then realising you made a mistake or it's not going to work. And then what I'm doing here is I'm creating myself a ridge line here, which needs to be blended out. So all of this ridge line here is not good. Some more clip over comb just to get this ridge line out. Blend in nicely with the crown. What I'm also going to do is just go over with a grade four and go down the head, pick up any other little bits before I start using a bit of scissor over comb. A lot of guys are using this technique at the minute for fading and blending and it's the same whether you do a grade three into four, you can use the same technique to whack out a little bit more hair and bulk. Just around the bottom, because we've done a grade three, it's still quite long around here, so I'm gonna go in with a grade two and just go down with it just to blend out this very bottom edge so it's not too long. It's gonna create a nice stronger, you see his hairline over here, we just wanna create a stronger hairline for him. But we wanna just get a bit more texture through the top. Reduce that down a bit more. It's like cutting carpet. <laughs> I'm just basically checking all my work and checking what I've checking what I've got. And if I look in the mirror, I can see there's certain areas around here I'm not too keen on. So if I over accentuate it on the side of the head, I'm not removing too much bulk, but it's going to remove a little bit of the extra, like this little corner here, that could be just kicking that, that out. It's, like, it's more, this is sort of more topiary, where I want to shape it at the front here. So I want to go in and freehand little bits of it to get that down. Let's brush his face off as well so it's not too hairy. All this front, front fringe area here is more the freehand after we cut the hair. Just to get a bit of a shape into his hair. Otherwise it just looks a bit bowly. We've got a little bit of a cow's look area here. So we want to make sure we reduce some of this bulk here. the texture. So the final thing to do is the eyebrows and the nose. <laughs> the white is pleased. Yeah. The eyebrow against the Those eyebrows. Look at them. So this is a good way of getting the middle, middle bit of the brow out. Just a little bit of wax on there. I'm pretty sure she does a nail, her eyebrows waxed. She really wants me to do that. She's literally been talking about it every, no, every time I come here. Yeah, but...
Threaded or plucked. Not waxed. A lot this of girls. Is the first, first time I'm seeing someone getting their eyebrows. Eyebrows waxed. Right, I'm, I'm I usually get mine threaded. Right. See, see you later. Okay, nice. ready? Just call in the machine. You ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. It's disappointingly painless. Painless. I know. I, I, I tried it today. It was the first time ever. And I thought it was going to be really painful. And when he did, I was like, okay. Amazing what product can do when you've got fluffy <laughs> hair like that, it just changes it, doesn't it? But you need a good base haircut there for it to actually work and look good. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It looks all right. All your hard work. Are you happy? Yes, yes, let's do it. Happy? Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.